name is Zolcius. Once a novelist. But after losing my memory, I couldn't complete any valuable writing. Now I'm just a private detective with my clients. Until I receive this strange request. Investigate an infamous estate and find a man's lost daughter. Besides the check, it was the name on the letter that intrigued me. Not Orpheus, but... An alias that only... but me. For somewhere that's been deserted for ten years, this room's a remarkable condition. I think I'll stay here for the night. But it's too dark in here. I need to find an alternative light source before the fuel on this lantern runs out. Thank God. Candles here still burn. There should be some more on the wall. It's all psychological. These candles really calm the nerves. Paper airplane? Hmm. Something that children usually play with. This looks like a page from a diary. Interesting. The date is from several days ago. The person who wrote this is most likely connected with our missing person. Although I can't write anymore, I still have an uncanny ability to sense the emotions of a text. This is an ability most people do not possess. By reading the text, I can attempt to reconstruct the scene, and even find out information about the author.
suddenly stops here. What on earth does that mean? A carnival. It reads like something that was written by a lunatic. I really hope that Mr. Reichenbach's daughter is not involved in this. What I really need to do now is find the rest of the diary and find out what's happened here. There should be other clues among these sheets of paper. Black powder seems to be charcoal. Hmm. The answer is probably close by. There happens to be a fireplace here. There's charcoal in the fireplace, but no diary. That's not surprising. But something else has attracted my attention. The unburned firewood. The chimney has been sealed off. Seems the owner didn't use the fireplace, and its true purpose remains unclear. There must be some more clues around here. Candlestick is. I think I know why there's an extra candle here. It's firmly attached to the fireplace. It seems to actually be a part of the fireplace. This is pretty important. to detest bedtime reading when I was a child. Trying to find a diary with a missing page in here is like looking for a needle in a haystack. The search for one specific diary is no longer important. All of these diaries are significant. It is obvious that these entries were not written by the same person, which means that they were insane, or something else happened here that I do not yet understand. Hmm, they've raised more questions than they have answered. It seems I shall have to apply a somewhat archaic method to obtain the information that I need.
I think I can catalog the particulars of all the authors into profiles, based on the information I've found. Content of a few scattered diaries is connected. I think they're describing the same game. According to this entry, the author describing this game is a doctor. The entry from this doctor is more detailed and complete. I think this would be a good place to begin.
Thank <laughs> you. 